Hello again, minions! It's Wheezy. Welcome back to Gran Turismo 7. Uh, lately I have been playing this a little bit more, especially since I've been working with Eevee on uh, learning to drive in a racing simulator. Um, but one of the things I've been doing is, just for fun, is getting in and doing some of these time trials. Just because, honestly, they're a good way to kind of practice on some tracks, and if you get in the top, you know, 10%, you get 250 grand, top 5% a million, top 3% 2 million. I'm pretty much pretty solid top 10% uh, from how I can drive with my controller, not playing this game a ton. So I figured I'd kind of bring you guys through the process. Um, for anyone who's maybe into racing or wants to get into racing, I, I've been playing simulators for basically since I was like 10, since Gran Turismo 1, like way back. I've done a couple of these, there's a new one, I just finished up this last one it just expired so uh, I will jump in uh, and do this one so oh, I probably have I probably have the corvette for this so it'll be tuned but it's the color that I want so if I select this car it should tune it for me uh, sports medium and it'll do it'll do some custom tuning but oh, you know what? do I have sports medium I do not. Let's go and buy me some tires there. And throw them on my car. I could just rent the event car, in which case it would be fine, but uh, you know, this is my car. Might as well. Figured I'd take you through the process of how I do this. So what I'm going to be aiming for is, you know, just in the money. So I'm looking for less than 138 on my lap time. I, Like I said, I have not played a ton of Gran Turismo. There's Maybe for another video if I do more Gran Turismo stuff. There's a lot of things about this game that aren't super great, so I, it hasn't been super motivating for me to play it a lot. Um, but now that I'm kind of getting back into it, I'm having some fun, so... I'm not super familiar with these tracks, so you'll see me basically going through... Kind of uh, learning the tracks. Oh, this is Laguna Seca! So I know Laguna Seca pretty well. Um, but kind of practicing it in the car, right? So there'll be that learning experience of running the track in this car. So I haven't, like, warmed up or uh, practice this ahead of time. So basically I'm gonna be working on my lap times uh, as we go through it, and uh, yeah. So I'm starting out nice and sloppy, but you'll see me as I go through, kind of clean up my lap and get more and more speed out of it. Right now I'm going in way too fast and missing all these apexes. So let's get it. Love the corkscrew. Laguna Seca is one of my, it's a classic track, one of my all-time favorites. Uh, I run with ABS on light, so it's, if I try to brake hard and turn, I'm gonna lose traction. Uh, and I think I have uh, traction control on one. Uh, just so that I can kind of mash the throttle without, and especially in a really powerful car without really losing much. I could probably turn that off. But I find it's a good balance for being mostly sim, but kind of having a bit of a crutch. There's a lot more sensitivity you can handle in a car when you've got a, you know, a brake pedal and a steering wheel. And you can do smaller inputs than with a controller. I'm raising with a controller right now. Although I do have a steering wheel coming in. Which I'm looking forward to. I haven't had one in a couple years. I sold my old GT wheel a couple, a couple years ago. Alright, first lap in the books. Really sloppy. Let's see what we can do. Still too fast, missing that apex. Wow, really missed that apex. Oh, it's probably also these tires don't have a ton of grip, so I gotta learn that too. This is gonna be worse than the first lap. Let's see if I can make up some time here. Definitely get some more time in that turn. Accelerate out faster from that apex. Too fast in that one too. Handling on this car is not super great with these tires. And I 
came in too far on that. Sort this out as I go. The braking points are a lot earlier on this track with this car than I'm used to with other cars. Last turn on Laguna Seca is such a hard turn in that it's heartbreaking, a hard 90. Oh, even with those flubs, I still managed to get it here. All right, still missed that apex. I still need to break into that one more. Completely flubbed that one up. Still managed to clip the apex and accelerate out. Oh, not too bad. Purple in that sector. Car carried a little bit more speed through that turn. Could probably turn my tracking control all the way off. This is this car is, especially on these tires, is not so powerful that I'm really going to be spinning the wheels that hard. And it may be costing me out of some of these turns. Oh, cut the track there. Oh, it didn't quite. I don't think it penalized me for it. Let's see where we are. God, what was it we were shooting? Was it 138 we were shooting for? Where? That can't be. Maybe it must have been 128. There's no way I'm in the... No way I'm in the top 10% with that lap. Oh wait, wasn't the record on this 129? Maybe I am in the money run already. Oh well, we're gonna keep going until I stop improving on my lap times. Every lap's getting a little bit cleaner, a little bit more speed. Also, I want to make sure that I pad it, because it's based on percentages of people who are driving it. So as more people do this time trial, I could still drop. Those times could improve. was pretty clean. Oh, but I was almost a second behind my best lap. Must have been playing it a little bit too cautious in some of those turns. more speed through that, but I still left some speed on the table there. I don't need to break nearly as hard for that turn.
people in that sector. Overcooked it almost a little bit there. Alright, that one felt clean. There we go. Purple by a second. Alright. I think I can carry. Nope. I was like, can I carry third gear through there? Not quite. I can carry third gear through here, though. I need to not burn as much speed as I did last time. Oh, hit the big part of the curb. That was not ideal. probably break later and harder into this turn to save some time, but and accelerate harder out. I can definitely be more aggressive through here. I'll have to put it the car right on the limit. Alright, let's Kind of go balls out, and if we're not going to be purple on this next lap, then we'll call it good. Half a second behind my purple lap. Missed the apex on that one. Let's see if we can accelerate out. That was ugly! <laughs> Breaking way too early in that one. I should have upshifted in the brakes. Alright, we may do one more because this is sloppy. Missed that apex again. Yeah, I tried to trying to push a little too hard. Losing a lot of time. We'll push it through the corkscrew and see if we can be reckless enough to make up that time. That's, that's an aggressive corkscrew right there. Oh, ignoring the track limit. Oh, they got me for cutting the corkscrew. All right, we'll do one more. Turned into that one too early. Cut the track again, I think. I tried to push that one too late again. Didn't get penalized for it, but I lost a lot of time. All right, last one. Unless it's purple. <laughs> Ugh, break too early on that one. That one barely needs a lift, I think. I lost probably a good second through there. Missed the apex, turned in too late. I definitely have a cleaner lap in me. Really overcooked it into that one. My lap times are wildly inconsistent. Came into that one way too hot. Sloppy again. Definitely calling this my last one because I'm not... Not making a whole lot of advancement, so... Do what we can. Felt like I almost cut the track there. Yep. It got me for cutting the track. Let's just finish this one out and call it good. Well, alright. Not ideal. But we got some good laps in there. Let's see where we came out. Best time, 135. 22 miles. My best third sector was on the following lap. <laughs> Look, I left half a second in that sector, at least. So I definitely have, definitely have a lot of time left on there. All right, 135, top seven percent. That's about where I fall right now, with as much as I play this and using my controllers, about seven percent. All right, let's go watch that best lap, and then call it good. We'll put that in uh, track porn mode. 
And so, yeah, if you guys uh, enjoyed this, if there's anything, you know, interesting or valuable you got out of this, uh, feel free to leave me a like. If you didn't enjoy this, you can leave me a dislike. Depending on the response to this, I could might do more like these. I just... When I have a game that I enjoy playing and uh, I think it's interesting to watch, then that's what I'll do is I'll post it. So we'll jump into the replay here. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.